Hey guys, welcome. <laughs> I forgot about my teeth. But we're back with another video. We're on our way to Home Depot. We're still working on that room. And we decided very quickly, let's take the Corvette. Let's take the vet out to Home Depot. <laughs> so we're on our way right now in style. And mom, it's fine. This is good lighting. She wants me to show off the car. She's like, she's like, go in front of the car. Go in front of the car. Get it like that. Get the, get, yeah, get the license plate. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> she just wants to show the car. But yeah, this is my dad's car. So we're going to ride in style. And we're going to go to Home Depot. Lego. Just finished up at Home Depot. And <laughs> it was so packed. We weren't expecting that. It's you don't want the top down one. It's too much trouble, Kelly. Right, bye. The sky is very pretty. It's gorgeous. Okay, so we went with green. It's like a green gray. It actually looks really good. We have to add more green gray on top compared to the dark gray. And then, you, like, if you go like this, I know it's a lot of crap, but you can see the two different tones and the moods. We're just going a little lighter. Adding, adding green. Ma, it looks good. I know I'm sitting back and just, you know, do do do. And then look, this is my first piece of furniture. Don't look at the wall because I don't know if it's finished yet, but this is the first piece of furniture that I bring over from my home, my mirror. I didn't even tape um, my house with it to show you because I wanted to just take a video of like what my house was like before I leave because it's beautiful. But this is our first. We're almost home. Our new home. And the green. Looks good, Mom. I like it. I smell paint. Yeah! Start from the beginning. Thank you so much, Mom. Like, like this is. <laughs> This You're using the, that roller for the wall? Right, so that's why it's putting it Look on. Look how little so, that is. It's putting it on so thin, but it's ah! But that's why that still is no. So, welcome back. Last video, we did not have white walls. We were painting them. But then things changed, you know? When you're an artist or whatever, creative minds. Things change. So we are changing it up in here again. And I think I'm just gonna start very clean when I move in, then I'll figure out and then I'll build from there. Cause I was just so confused. I didn't know what direction I wanted to go in or anything like that. So, so now we went to Home Depot and now we're gonna be painting. Oh my, you painted that gray, why? I'm gonna keep the green. We painted this green area, but um, she painted it back gray. Is it dry? Yeah. Okay. Um, I originally wanted to go really dark, but then I realized that in my mom's living room, she has the same green that I had wanted on my wall, so I can't do that green on those walls because I just really, just, she literally has every single color in this house. So it's hard to pick a color that she has not ever used. So I'm picking a green, a light green, which she's probably used before, you know? But it's it's really hard. Each room is like, it, it has its own little story. Wallpaper. And then this will be my new closet that we're working on. Well, my mom's painting it white, but um, we're getting like another built-in or something in here. Um, this will be my office. Yes, it's a lot of clutter, a lot of things moving, shaking, exciting. I'm gonna start painting. Thank you so much, Mom. Mom, you don't have a bigger, should I go grab another? I have, I did. Roller? I have everything. All right, but I'm gonna roll the, the green. In the, in the big roller? Yeah. Yeah, because I was just thinking that it wasn't gonna be this much work. <laughs> and no, it's a lot with that little roller. Oh my goodness. It's therapeutic, it's fine. Okay. So, I'm gonna get ready. I love to paint. All right, so I don't know if I've ever said this before, but whenever, I know you can buy those plastic cartons that go inside of here, but if you don't have any, which we ran out of, 
the kind of DIY situation that you create is use plastic bags. So you're gonna take the plastic bag, you put it over once, you loop it through these holes down here, and I usually like cross do it like that so it's tight in the back of it. Then you do it again over here. And now you take one more and then you go like that. And then I tie a knot. Take a whole layer. No, I made a hole! Dang it. We're gonna get one more bag. <laughs> nope. I gotta do it again. <laughs> it's okay. Perfect. I think I'm still good this too tight. <laughs> so, you will always need an angled brush and you will always need a roller. These are the best rollers. Let me show you. The green label is the one that you want to get. It's in Spanish. Great. Smooth to semi-smooth surfaces. The green label, three and eight inches nap. It's a three pack. Okay, so you're going to get that. You're going to get that. Um, that's what I get. And then, whenever you're doing a bedroom, you always want your finish to be eggshell. I go for marquee because that's what my mom taught me. Fair marquee paint is like the bomb. Always do two coats of paint and eggshell. I did satin in my bedroom by accident. I was so confident. I was like, I'm going to get satin paint for my bedroom. And I was wrong. Like, it's so shiny and I hate it. So, you will see it. I love the color, but you will see the finish maybe. I'll show a video of it, but um, it's so shiny and I hate that. Marquee, it's purple. Alright, we kind of went for that. You know what I just remembered? I have footage of me painting my room green when I first got it. Um, not footage of like when me and my dad painted my entire house white, which is um, fun, entertaining when you're painting with him. <laughs> but um, I have footage of when I painted it green. Hopefully I still have it. If I do, maybe I'll put some in here so you kind of get like the satin. <laughs> when I did it satin. What's up? Okay, excuse my crustiness, but I am painting and watching TV, but I'm redoing my room. I'm gonna paint that wall too. And I'm painting it green, leaving this wall white, because I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and do something like a little special with it. But anyway, right now I'm just painting my room. So, yeah. My room is finished! Oh my god, well, the paint color is finished at least. Let me show you, so look. Don't mind all the mess, cause clearly I'm up to something. But this is the color. It's so pretty. sweaty mess paint all over my hands and everything no matter how many times I wash but the room is all done so it is we did um, a coat of white to like clean it up like an extra coat I'll have the color somewhere on my channel oh it's called hummus hummus, hummus marquee so this is my mom's bed we're gonna move her bed upstairs huh like a pumice stone hummus Yes, and now we get to see how this woman <laughs> creates more work. Creates more work and took my color. So this is our bathroom. It's one of the bathrooms, and 
she decides she wants to steal my color. You, I told her, we literally argued about this. So she's trying to paint the stripes, but she's gonna paint all of them probably. I don't know. I am gonna paint all of them. I'm just working on it. Completely stole my color. We went back and forth about this. How this is so wrong. Because finally I got a color that's not in the house, even though it's somewhat similar to the color in our living room. Jonathan comes over and he's, because we just painted his aunt's house, and he's like, isn't this the same color as you just painted your aunt's house? No, it's a different color. <laughs> oh my gosh. So now we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna just do a white coat in here. This is that closet that I showed you before. Um, this door right here, my mom, she just bought like this, the bar thing. The, well, it's the brackets to make this into a barn door. So, so it'll, yeah, so it'll swing. All right, so I'm gonna paint this white. Yeah, probably the next video. Oh, I wanted to mention to here. So you notice how we barely use, I mean, the floor looks crazy. We barely, we barely, we didn't use um, something to cover the floor because we are gonna strip this wood and repolyurethane it. I think I've mentioned this before, but that's why we didn't care too much if paint got on it or not because we're just going to, ooh, sorry, we're just going to um, strip it and stuff. So that's why, but if you are painting, I recommend that you put something on the floor. We are a work in progress. And also, we are very experienced painters, so we are minimally messy. Okay, you heard her. She said we are minimally messy because we paint all the time, but it does look bad on camera. Um. I think that's gonna wrap up this video. Next video will probably be me doing the floors. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Love you. Hello, Ms. Roos Roos, Kelly Rooster.